What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today I am joined with the Marsman crew to give a fish review for Call of Duty's multiplayer and zombies for the newest installment. And like I said already, this is not a review of the campaign. If you want to go check out my, you know, my open cheek crapping of what the campaign actually was, which is just bad. And I think we all kind of agree that it is just horrendous of a showing for a $70 game. You can go check that out in the video right here or in the description below, but damn, it was bad. But let's now take a look at the multiplayer and the way that I always like to do these crew reviews is have us discuss really the good, the bad, and whether or not you should buy this now, later, or not all when we give our final verdict. So let's start off with the good. And when I look at the multiplayer, I'll say that the probably one of the few things I am automatically loving is the fact that these maps are from the old games being brought to this new era of Call of Duty. And and overall, like the maps are pretty much similar to what I remember. And I, it's kind of crazy that I can just jump into a game and be right off the bat, be like, oh, I know exactly where to go with this. I know where some spots are and know how to, you know, what type of guns I used to always rock in these modes. Like I'd be playing in it like almost like that Afghanistan kind of remnants of the plane. It'd be like, yep, this is a sniper map. I remember I was always rocking my sniper class in this in this map and it feels right. And I could say the same thing about a lot of different classes and how I would rock in different maps. Like it feels good jumping back into some of these original maps that kind of like just give you a little bit of nostalgia. And I feel like that's really what's best about this multiplayer is that there are some good things to see when it comes to the map design and, and they feel very much updated in the way that it's organized. And I just feel like I enjoyed them when I played. Now, when it comes to the zombies, I feel like the good I mean, is the fact that like you can there are times where you look at the different like regions of like the very like Gerber baby medium and hard regions of the map. And there are some challenges like it's not as easy as when you first play zombies and you're like, all right, these guys are just like slowly walking toward me and I can just destroy everybody. They actually do get pretty strong. And I feel like it does kind of incentivize working with your team. You can't just go solo and hope to win this entire thing and do challenges all by yourself because the guards are actually pretty tough even like the mercenaries are, are pretty annoying so i enjoyed that you have to actually step up with the team and, and play together or else you're just gonna fail so those are some of the good things i felt about both the multiplayer and zombies but angelica what were some things that you saw that were good for this multiplayer yeah for the good definitely the maps is one of the high points which it's always tough when you get remastered maps because of um when you get to these older maps and bring them into the new age um, when the movement gets faster in games, the old maps tend not to feel good, but they actually did a pretty good job in this uh, this game for bringing in some of those old maps. But another thing I'm going to do, and this might shock some people, the time to kill or time to die actually feels a lot better than the previous game. I don't, it's not like the best, I see people going crazy for this, like this is the best feeling Call of Duty of all time, the best since Black Ops 3. And maybe I'm not gonna dive that far, but it's definitely to me the best feeling since 2019, which I put in quite a few hours into 2019. So I think the time to kill, it's definitely a shock to the system. If you go from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, you definitely get blasted with like, wow, these guns don't, kill people but the more you play the more you feel comfortable it actually feels better than what we played in modern warfare 2 which it really shines a light on how poor the feel of modern warfare 2 was um, when you started playing modern warfare 3 and I, I definitely enjoy it more but i can't say i enjoy it more than 2019 just yet definitely feel like i gotta play it more um for the zombies part listen zombies can get old very fast i know everyone loves kind of the round system in a tight area you know trying to escape but I actually like the little twist they did with kind of this war zone aspect. Didn't like the war zone aspect in campaign, but I actually like it in the zombies where you're doing some of these side missions with teammates, um, getting money, trying to build up your guns, um, and you have this kind of time limit to, to do what you got to do and then escape. Um, those are some of the things that I found to be pretty good in the zombie aspect. A nice little twist um, for zombies that I think is pretty valuable. Yeah, and so hockey, you know, we're all fans of FPS games. What were some good things you felt about this multiplayer and zombies? Yeah, as you both brought up great points, and um, I'm pretty much going to piggyback off of both of you guys. Uh, the map's very nostalgic. Uh, as soon as Terminal uh, it loaded up on the game, I was very happy. Uh, I think I went uh, like 20 and 4 the first game as well. So um, the map's very good, and even all the modes on, on the maps as well. 
even uh, some of the uh, you know less fun modes like control still feel pretty good uh, in this game. And just like Plangelo Kill said, the time to kill, I'm a fan of it as well. Um, on the defensive side, you can finally get away. It does not feel like an instant death as soon as you get touched by a bullet, which I think is more you know in line with that 2019 Call of Duty as well. Um, and on the offensive side, when you're actually shooting, uh, you have to be a little bit more skillful skillful with your gun you know go for the headshots or the upper body as well so um i do like the movement i do like the guns i do like the map as well when it comes to zombies once you actually understand how to play the game uh in this open world uh realm it is actually pretty fun and is uh as it gets more hectic it gets you know uh, more enjoyable as well especially if you're playing with your friends um and that's really the way to do it is uh, you're going to be playing with your friends, and that's where the most fun is going to be. You're going to be talking, laughing. Um, you know, at the end of one of the uh, maps, when Marsilio and, and Langella had, uh, you know, left the game, I essentially jumped out of the plane, and I had to find my way to another drop point, which was pretty funny as well. So, you know, um, they have the core of zombies in there as well, and I'm a fan of it. Yeah, I mean, when I looked at this overall map design, I felt like it was just great. So. Even just with the zombies, I know it's, an, it's a war zone map, but the experience was definitely better than I thought. You just look at the trailers, I kind of had like some agita thinking about how bad it was going to be, but it was actually surprising that it wasn't that bad. I, I mean, there are some criticisms that you definitely could throw at this, but it was it was it was enjoyable experience with people. Now, with the good, we have to definitely talk about the bad, and, and I was already put in a very sour mood when I played the campaign early. Um, you know, paying the $70, you expect that you're going to get a $70 value. And that campaign got me in a really bad mood. So I was already in a weird spot with this game. And what got me even in a more frustrated state was when playing the, you know, the beta or, or really that, that, in, that intro with that little first piece that we had with Call of Duty. One of the first criticisms I had was it felt like my bullets don't do anything, right? It felt like half the time. I was hitting hit markers and nothing was actually happening to the my opponent and i know that the time to kill has changed i know that both of you guys do like the change of the time to kill and compared to the last game but a part of me feels like there is too much inconsistency with these guns and i feel like maybe it's a connection issue that the servers are inconsistent there must be some sort of desync going on because there are times why i i unload on a guy drop 15 bullets into the dude and he doesn't die but he'll shoot five bullets into me and i am dead on arrival and i'm just kind of frustrated because it's almost like is it because the gun sucks is it because i suck is it this connection sucks i can't find the answer so i'll like investigate i'll change my gun i still can't kill the guy or sometimes i'll go on an entire killing spree and just wipe out everybody and all of a sudden i only need five bullets to kill five guys in a, in a quick and fashion and i'm like oh wow maybe i'm just getting really good at the game and, and just to give everyone's up i'm pretty damn good at cod usually so it's not like i'm even bad at this game either it's just at times i'm just getting i'll get clapped and i'm like i'm on a killing spree i have a predator missile i only need another kill to get an sae and all of a sudden i die because i pump 20 bullets into a guy and he doesn't die and i'm like well damn i really wanted to get that airstrike right and it's just it frustrates you because you don't really know what is the issue right and i feel like it maybe it's because there is desync and they haven't really shed light on that um but i'm still kind of iffy about this this hit registration and how i how the like the time to kill i get it is better than being super realistic but at the same time it's like damn i feel like people are bullet sponges and they're not they're not taking they're not dying right and when it comes to the zombies the bad i mean it just kind of i don't know it gets stale to me man i feel like I, I we meet we played a few games of zombies and I enjoyed that we got to play together. But at times I kind of just like so our goal is to do a few missions and then get the hell out of there. Like there's no there's no like rhyme or reason. There's no like real objective. It's just spend at most a half an hour in the map and then get the hell out and then call it a day. Like they, there should be more incentive. Like they in the old zombies it was always survive the round survive the wave and then keep surviving it gets harder every time and the longer you survive it gives you kind of like a more difficult challenge and it's almost like bragging rights with your friends right and i get it this zombies is a little bit different but why don't you have it where it's like almost like a battle royale in a way where you have waves of zombies attacking 
all across the map and whichever squad survives at the end wins the game and i feel like that would be like an awesome way to make zombies different and with a larger scale of people and it kind of reminds you almost like a walking dead type of thing like that would be really cool but they they kind of dropped the ball on that i feel like they just kind of made this a walk around and kill zombies and then just leave uh and just get the hell out of here go shut the door on your way out like it just kind of felt like that but hockey what were some bad things you felt about this multiplayer in zombies yeah, so I'm highlighting immediately that this is, and you guys I know are going to agree, just a straight up oversized DLC. Like, yes, they changed the movement, they changed the TTK, whatever you want to say, but this is definitely not worth $70. This is crazy that they charge 70 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. I would have been okay with it. On second thought, I'm, I'm not really going to buy this game. You know, if I had to do it again, I'm not spending 70 bucks on this game. Um, but I mean, more of the personal uh things that that i just uh you know find unbelievable that they brought over from the last modern warfare was the unlocking of guns by using other guns so i have to use guns that i don't want to use to unlock guns that i do want to use and, and i'm talking about like using an smg or using a sniper to unlock an assault rifle there are just many guns that i don't want to use but i'm going to have to because i want to use this special sniper they even did it with um like semtexes and certain things in daily challenges as well so you have to do daily challenges to unlock just simple things like a semtex you know it's just it got really annoying it was very annoying back in modern warfare 2 and they brought it over to this game as well and uh, it's just one of my biggest pet peeves. And for the zombies, again, it's a it's a personal vendetta. Um, I played zombies with randoms, and it was the boring. It was the most boring thing I've ever done. You know, a couple games I even quit because I really didn't know what I was doing, and I just kept dying. Uh, so zombies for me, it's I'm either playing with you guys or one of my boys, and that's it. If if I don't got you guys, or I don't got any of my friends playing, I'm not gonna be playing zombies. So that's the bad for the zombies for me. Yeah, Angelica, what would you feel like is the bad here? Yeah, I, I think Hockey really nailed it. Um, for multiplayer, I'll also add on, on on what he said. Besides the gun unlocking, is the biggest point is it just reeks of a DLC, right? It, it reeks of a DLC, and if they called it a DLC, um, people would be even harsher on them for charging $70, but they have to pretend it's a new game, even though it is far. I mean, everything reeks of Modern Warfare 2 transforming into this game. Um, I mean, you're you're using the same battle passes. You're bringing all, all over all the same guns, except some new additional guns. And all they do is sprinkling the new movement and the maps into it, and saying, "Yep, this is actually a new, a whole new installment." Um, but you just see so many aspects of the Modern Warfare 2 UI, the gun unlocking system. You know, the the guns that you used previously you have all those things unlocked. It just absolutely reeks of a DLC, and it just reminds me of uh, Madden. And Call of Duty this time around has really shown that they are the Madden of FPS, where their brand is so big and so strong that they could pull something like this and you'll have crowds of people saying, well, you know, it's all right. This, this $70 is completely worth it. And it's it's un, it's unbelievable. No one should be able to get away with this. And we are huge COD fans, but we got to call it as we see it. And this is an bloated DLC with, again, we're not talking about the campaign, a, a third of the game that is absolute garbage and the other stuff trying to fill up that $70. As for the zombie stuff, I agree with you guys on for the most, I like the twist that I mentioned in the good about doing some side missions uh, in that war zone aspect, the different zones. But boy, there was a lot of bugs. I mean, there was a lot of bugs. Zombies were floating. Zombies were going through the ground. Um, there was a lot of funny moments, but it shows you it's not polished. And you have, what, one mat, right? So there's not a lot of variety. Um, they, you know, they can definitely increase on variety. And one last thing before I uh, kind of close my, my part out is spawning. Spawning has been another big issue that goes back to the multiplayer. They've been working on it. But boy, some maps have some serious spawning problems. And so when we jump into our final verdicts, uh, this is uh, uh, probably one of the, the grossest I felt spending $70 in a long time. I felt like I I honestly uh, rather just been kicked right in the nuts than spend the $70 on this game. I, I'm going to be really honest with you. I, this is probably one of the lowest I felt with Call of Duties in a while. Um, I played me and me and Angelic Hill bought. I think I asked for 
uh, Call of Duty World War II for Christmas, and it, we instantly played multiplayer together, split screen. We instantly regretted, and I was like, "This is the I, I'm sorry that you spent money on this for me for Christmas because this is yeah, I brought, horrible." I brought that for you for Christmas. Yeah, for her Christmas, <laughs> and that was that. This is the closest thing I felt to that in a long time. But the difference was, I didn't get this as a gift. I bought it myself, so I, it's a little bit different. Um, but I, I mean, I'm getting close to the levels of like maybe I'm giving this like a four. Like I, I think this is this game is getting close to that Garbo garbanzo beans level of bad when it comes to our rating system um because i'm looking at this game as a whole right the mo the campaign i didn't even give it the campaign a rating that's how bad the campaign was like we didn't even have a rating for that component because it's so bad the multiplayer in my opinion the only saving grace of it was the the maps were solid right but even then and and Langella kill said this the spawning makes me want to puke it makes me want to throw up because yeah there are times where i i got killed by a guy i spawned directly behind them like so like and then i recorded a clip of me walking behind the guy teabagging him taking a pistol out and then capping like imagine me doing that and getting killed by a guy like that i would lose my mind and that's the point it's just like this game feels rushed it feels broken it feels like even sledgehammer said it themselves this is not the game we want to do. So it feels like they don't care about it. Why should I care about it? And it means that it's a four. It is a garbanzo beans level of game for me. I Yes, I can play the multiplayer and salvage the moments with you guys, but you'll never catch me playing this game alone because if I am, then I've lost all soul and life into me. If I'm playing this game by myself, I'm a multiplayer. Um, the, and the zombies is just the... Just, sure go go add that to the game because it's just it's just there but i am i am saying do not buy this game i have already said it in a previous video do not just skip it skip this game i will guarantee you'll be better off spending that 70 dollars on a gym membership go outside go do something go buy something i don't care what it is do not spend it on call of duty you're saving yourself 70 dollars to go play something else so that is my rating uh, let's go Angelo kill next. What what rating and uh, buy this now later or not at all? Um, I'm a little higher and I'm at a six, a flat six, um, which is a, a below average score. And I think the multiplayer aspects save it. I have the multiplayer at a 7.5. I have the campaign at a four and the zombies at a six. So I'm um, kind of putting all that together. I, I'm going to give it a flat six. And I'm not going to do a buy now. It is a buy later. Seventy dollars. There is no way this game is worth seventy dollars at any point in time, even with the multiplayer. That I liked the time to kill better and the maps, but it is still absolutely not worth seventy dollars. Um, but that's the only thing that saves it. Um, this game was going to reach for me the Garbanzo uh, levels, but I do think the maps uh, save it. The zombies were a nice twist, but get stale very quickly um, because there's not a lot of variety. And even a, a war mode that the, the war mode that I liked um, that we did one it's one operation right so like, it just feels like a DLC add-on and no other company can get away with this besides Madden in charging the seventy dollars so unless you're a die-hard FPS fans and even though and listen we're Halo fans I think Halo is doing a, a much better job right now um, as a live service Call of Duty could get there um, because I do think this game has got a updates are what's going to save this game and probably make it better but at right now it is not fulfilling its role as a leading fps game battlefield i don't even want to talk about it right so i, I, I i'm done with that and, and even so, they're doing a solid job they have people who really. playing I mean, the game. they had to go free to sell the game right so they, they went free for a period to get a bunch of people back so the fps genre as a whole is not great but I do think Halo's doing better. I guess you can say Battlefield's doing better, but it just that's a broken game at its core. And Call of Duty is showing that, yeah, we're on top, but we don't care, right? They don't feel that competitiveness to make them perform better. And so I'm not, not a buy now, unless you're a diehard, and even us who are all Call of Duty fans, I regret paying $70. So I'm not a, I'm at a buy later. Aki, what's your rating? And should you buy this now later or not at all? All right, so I, I didn't play the campaign, so, you know, I, maybe I don't have that stench, you know, lingering in my room, but um, I am at a 7.5, which Ooh. I know is crazy, right? Whoa. But 
what I'm looking at, and I did this with Halo Infinite, and it's coming true a little bit. Remember when I said Halo Infinite was like a top three Halo game, and now it's starting to be all right? I'm looking at it in the future, right? What I do Don't is, make the same mistake twice. I'm not, don't make the same man. mistake. I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying this is the best Call of Duty. What I'm saying is, what I personally, I play about 70% of the FPS games. I play, If it has a ranked, I'm playing ranked. Overwatch, Halo, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 85% of my play was ranked near the end, all right? So in season one, if rank comes out and it's good and the, you know, the maps play well, right? And the guns play well, then I think ranked could really bump it up a little bit. But let me say something about this. And me and Langella Kill um, were talking about this the other day and he kind of opened my eyes to this. The old guns coming over to this game, okay, that's fine in pubs. I do not want to see any old gun in rank. I do not want TAC and Vaz coming back to rank and just those two guns running that. I want the new guns in rank, only the new guns in rank, so we can kind of feel like this is a new game, all right? Yeah. That's the only way that this is going to be a seven and a half for me is if rank comes out and it's damn near perfect, all right? Um, I'm... At a do not buy right now. I'm at a buy later. Buy when rank comes out. If you're a rank player like me, um, I would not have spent seventy bucks on this uh, a second time or in retrospect. So, there you go. One thing I will say is, if the guns at the are knowing how Activision is and knowing how Call of Duty is, those old guns are going to be in in the rank, that rank. And when they do, and when they do, and when they do, I I am I'm going to just. I'm gonna make another video just crapping on. <laughs> I, I mean, that's just. I'm gonna be excited just to crap on them again. So, what, about, what do you think about Call of Duty? Do you think it's garbanzo beans? Do you think it's salvageable? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, if you like us crapping on Call of Duty, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Mars Man signing off. Peace out, guys.